Welcome to this awesome day, everybody. I'm making some homemade ice cream, which is a vegan version of ice cream made entirely of frozen fruit. So what I have here is some homemade frozen overripe bananas and some mango pulp that I also froze myself. I'm going to blend these together and then I'm gonna put a whole juicy pineapple on top plus these uchuvas, which are golden berries. I wanna show you these because they come in these cute little lantern shades. Oh, that one's a little. This is actually part of the nightshade family, I do believe, but golden berries, Inca berries, they have so many names around the world, and I love just unpeeling them fresh like this. And with all of these beautiful golden fruits, this is gonna be one healthy, antioxidant-rich breakfast. You've gotta try an ice cream if you never have before. Frozen bananas, even just that as a single ingredient makes a beautiful meal. <laughs> I tell you, you've never had a pineapple until you taste the fresh, locally grown ones that we get around here. They're so juicy and golden and fragrant. So spoiled by fruit out here. And not only are they the most divine pineapples you've ever had, but they're so inexpensive. You can get a giant pineapple for a dollar around here, and it might have been grown as locally as your neighbor's yard. When I lived in the United States, I would pay six to eight dollars for an organic pineapple that was shipped from another country that wasn't even sweet. <laughs> and it sure wasn't this beautiful golden yellow. So. When you get used to something, there are just some compromises you can't make anymore. Fruit, for me, is one of them. So, got my toppings cut up. Now I'm putting my bananas into the blender. Big chunk of my mango pulp. <laughs> my favorite way to make ice cream is actually with an electric handheld immersion blender. Um, you just like put the frozen fruit in a bowl and you smush it with the immersion blender. But mine burnt out because I made too much ice cream. <laughs> um, so if you have a really good blender, it's gonna work a lot easier. This might be a little bit of a struggle because it does look like an old kind of crappy blender, but we're gonna make it work. The trick to making any blender work for you is to add just a little bit of water at the bottom so the blade moves easily. I went ahead and did my first batch and it turned out pretty good. It's kind of the consistency we're looking for. Maybe a little thicker would be nice, but you work with what you have. <laughs> and for this batch, I'm going to add a little bit of cacao powder. This is the raw ingredient for chocolate. I'm gonna add just a tablespoon there. Because fruit is wonderful on its own, but the only thing that makes it a little better is some chocolate. lid on tight. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's see how it pours. I could work with that. <laughs> and all the fruit toppings. Just pile it on there. Now the final step is just to do a little taste test. Mm. Mm. That is some nice cream. This cream is very nice. 